like like doing music videos back then to now? Um, doing music videos back then was just like. Forget about violence, I'd rather be cool. I said, forget about violence, I'd rather be cool. Forget about violence, I'd rather be cool. I'm a space boy fly, I don't know about you. I said, at that time, it wasn't really going on, so it's more of a big deal. We made sure that we just get old school friends to come to the video shoes. It was more of a gathering, more of a reunion. And it was more fun. It mm -hmm. was more fun now. What do you mean? Why? Yeah. Why was it more fun? Because it's like, it was a thing that wasn't really happening. Like, nowadays, people just phone up a camera guy, £350, it happens. When back then, it was like we had to spend about two grand and all that. So when that was happening, mm -hmm. we made sure we made it a moment mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, yeah. Oh, sick. So, obviously, you've um, been Grammy nominated twice. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank That's you. sick. Thank you. So, you um, contributed to Ed Sheeran's X album. Yeah. Okay, so how did you contribute to that? So basically, me and Rich Free Two had a song called Welcome to My World. Uh -huh. And um, that was on Rich, Rich Free Two's first album. Mm -hmm. And what Ed Sheeran did was sample the song. Right, okay. So obviously, his team hit up my team and said, Is it alright to use this? And yeah, that's how that happened. Sick. And then Stormzy as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. one of the Stormzy albums. Yeah. yeah. So what song was that? That is don't cry for me. Mm -hmm. cool. Let me go. Look. See, I love my hood, but the hood shit bugs me. Come on, I put the comb to my mum, then see me and spud me. Okay, so, so how do you choose how to, who to feature with? Because they're so diverse. Like, how did you agree to both one and the other? I feel like the universe makes that happen. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not really for trying to force an issue. Like, I could just meet with someone, listen to their music, and if the vibe is right, then that's when it's going to happen. Okay. And um, some people, they just hear my stuff and they know what they're looking for. And what I've got is what they're looking for. So they'll contact me and then I'll check them out, mm -hmm. vibe out with them. If it's right, then we just make it work. Uh -huh. So is that how it usually happens? Like they, they reach out to you first? So yeah. hear your stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or um, I'll just meet them at like an event or something mm -hmm. and I'd like their stuff and just you know, make it work and then, so, yeah, sometimes I reach out to people as well. Okay, okay. So, predominantly, you're a producer, <laughs> but you're, you're an artist as well. Yes. And you, what else do you do? You do art? Yeah, I do art as yeah, well. Yeah, because, yeah, like, yeah. you just come through with all this stuff, I'm like, damn, yeah, is this, yeah. this stuff, <laughs> mate? <laughs> So art is something I've done from when I was in school, but mm -hmm. I didn't take it as serious. And then um, I needed like another outlet apart from music. And then um, I just kind of took it back and then thought about school days and how art used to make me feel and how therapeutic it was for oh. me. So I kind of thought, let me give it a try again. And then, you know, like I was older and mm -hmm. the love for it grew more. Oh, that's so, really nice. Yeah, so I just kind of got into it again and then... So why did you want to uh, divert away from music? Like, when you're doing so much of something... Well, for me, anyway, when mm -hmm. I'm doing so much of something, it's a bit disturbing mentally, mm -hmm. so I need to have, like, a break. Yeah, but when I have a break, I don't like to do nothing. I don't want to be doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I want to do something, but a break away from something. Uh -huh. So I thought that was, um, obviously, the art. That's it. Just, so, what I wanted to speak to you about was about um, producers' recognition, because mm -hmm. obviously I feel like artists get all the limelight and they get all the credit for everything, and it's kind of like, how do you feel? What are the challenges that you face as a as a producer in the industry? Like, do you feel like you get enough credit? Um. Well, for me, it's different because I came in as an artist mm -hmm. doing grime. Yeah. So I was kind of in the limelight already, mm -hmm. side by side with Rich Free too. So I've had the, the spotlight on okay. me. So when I made the transition, the spotlight was still on me. So mm -hmm. for me, it was a bit different. But some producers, they just like to be like in the background and not so much for mm -hmm. the credits. But I do feel like at some extent, even those that are like, background producers they do deserve some kind of credit and like for an example when a music video comes on mm -hmm. like they deserve to get produced by yeah. such and such yeah. come up even though they don't want to be out there with their face and you know have the spotlight on them so mm -hmm. i feel like producers do need a bit of credit mm -hmm. a bit of more credit because 
we bring like half of it to the table without yeah. us everyone be doing a cappella. That's what I'm saying. So uh, essentially, we, it's the core of music. Yeah. Like, so, I, personally, I think it's the the main of music. Like yeah. it's the main. I, like, I hope I hope that changes, but for that to um for a change to come, obviously mm-hmm. the producers need to be like outspoken a mm-hmm. bit more mm-hmm. and um, come forward and speak for others as well. So yeah. I feel like uh, producers are getting that recognition, like with um, they're getting uh, on the Writers Awards now. They're getting yeah. you know producer of the year, yeah. and on Spotify they've got like producer credits now, yeah. which they never used to have, which yeah. I think is amazing. Yeah, that's good. Um, but how else do you think that you know we can as a community we can like push forward? I feel like the big awards need to notice what the rated awards and all the up and coming mm-hmm. awards are doing, and corp like bringing in other producers as well. So I feel like. Big platforms can help. Mm-hmm. Um, the big producers that um, are on the big platform, like for an example, someone like Still Bangles. Yeah, I was gonna say about him. Like, it's people like him that should like not saying that he should do, but mm-hmm. it would be nice for him to have conversations with bigger platforms mm-hmm. that could um, help producers as well. Because yeah. I feel like the bigger platforms will listen to people like Still Bangles mm-hmm. because obviously of his accolades and all that stuff mm-hmm. so um i feel like he's kind of like created a brand for himself as a producer though because yeah. like we were at the uh one extra in my beefer mm-hmm. and he was like as an artist and mm-hmm. he was kind of just on stage kind of yeah. humming along to the songs he's produced it was kind of a bit of a weird <laughs> yeah. dynamic but he's yeah. kind of created a and brand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah. 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 yeah exactly so do you feel like that's the best way to go about it to get that kind of recognition or does the recognition not really bother you if you don't mind having the spotlight on you, mm-hmm. yes, that's that's a way to go about it. But for some that don't want that kind of exposure, mm-hmm. I just feel whoever you work with, just make some kind of deal that they kind of give you the big up that you need. Mm-hmm. Like like I said, like if you're doing a video, can you at least put produced by such yeah. and such in the beginning mm-hmm. and at the end if you have to, yeah. kind of thing. So, well, that should um, be mandatory. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a film. When you watch a film at the end of it, all mm-hmm. the credits come down and you see everyone that was involved in the film. So mm-hmm. I feel like that should be with music videos as well. And yeah. even like when people have conversations or like, when they're in an interview talking about a song, they should mention of course. the producer. Yeah, of course. So. Um, and so obviously because you've been in the game for so long, like what do you think is, like, what's your opinion on the evolution of like UK grime or just the music scene at the moment? <sighs> You've worked with so many people. Like, I don't want to name job, but <laughs> boy. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so what? What is what is the evolution? The evolution of of the music industry. Like how it's changed. What it's changed yeah. into. Yeah. I feel like it's like I had the conversation earlier. Um, back in the day, Afro beats, Afro <laughs> swing wasn't in the mix. That's what I was gonna say because obviously uh, Afro swing is such a big thing now. So yeah. how do you feel that's you know? Um, at first, there was a bit. Nah, but when they started adding in like R and B elements mm-hmm. into it, I'm a fan of R and B. Yeah. So when they started adding that in, and like there's a singer called Malogo, mm-hmm. like he doesn't sing like other Afro beats artists. Okay. Like he Malogo. proper sings. Yeah, Malogo. He done a few songs with. He done a song with Gigs mm-hmm. called The Baddest or something. Oh like yeah, 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 yeah. Kill me, Malogo. I am not an artist. artist, artist. I am all at an angel. Yeah. So, him singing on that, I was yeah. just like, wow, like, this is R&B mixed with Afrobeat mm-hmm. kind of thing. And mm-hmm. that just caused me to just backtrack and listen to all the other stuff. And then I just kind of got into that. stuff? Like, all the other, like, Afrobeat songs that, that's been playing before, mm-hmm. I heard that song, so... I just thought, let me just do my little research on Afrobeats and Afrobeat artists and all that stuff. So, so what was the what was that the best moment? What was the best moment in your career? I've had so many moments. Yeah, it's like no, even no. when <laughs> it's even I just went on Twitter one morning and then it was just like people was like, oh, you've been Grammy nominated. I'm like, that's crazy. What were you talking about? Yeah. Like, no, you've been grabbing up. I'm like, no, but I haven't got nothing. They're like, listen, when you yeah. produce for an album, like, you as a producer, yeah. I was like, hey, you've been Grammy nominated. I'm just like, holy smokes. That's so I've amazing. had like loads of moments throughout my career. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. 
So, um, so just to round off, so who is your up next? Would you say, who's the next popping thing? The next popping thing. Mm -hmm. Anyone who listen to it at the moment? I have really, really. Well, I wouldn't say Young Bane because Young Bane's he's already, already he's already popping. <laughs> but I like, I like M Huncho. Really? Yeah. yeah, I think he's he's doing his thing. His forty eight hours project. <laughs> I'm a space boy fly, I don't know about you I said forget about violence, I'd rather be cool 